Welcome friends to my Black Gazer walkthrough video guide. And in this guide I will go through every quest, find every secret and treasure, everything you need to know. So don't miss it, subscribe right now. And if you what love RPG games and CRPG games especially, leave a like to this video. So it will be the first chapter and the story is about to begin. Our adventure start at the Aspen Estate and we have a quest called Endings and Beginnings and that's exactly the quest you will see in this video. And who am I? Who am I? Yes. No. <laughs> I am a common walker and it's some kind of summoner who can summon animals and actually I can summon a rats and scorpions so far. I'll skip the character creation cause uh, I will have a separate well. video about it. And what I'm doing here? I am a servant, can you imagine it? I am a humble servant of Lord Aspen. And now I have to go and serve some drinks. Okay, Lord Espen, I'm going. I need to serve drinks right here, but before this I need to go to my room and gather my stuff. But every good servant knows that lords have a lot of things they actually don't use, so it will be not a problem if I take few of them. Let's search this estate and see what we can find first. Hmm, pretty nice bracelet. A book and some gold. If I must. <laughs> Actually, this estate is pretty big at it will take some time to search all over it. After searching a little, I found few interesting things like these bracelets, gloves, let's equip them, and this lunar pattern. And by the way, can I identify it? Yes, I can, perfect. Let's equip it also, and it's time to go you into my room. Hmm, a potion? And this is chest with my stuff. I earned some gold, actually a little gold. And I have a scholar stick. I take it all and some daggers. <laughs> okay, let's equip my stuff. Now I'm powerful enough to face all the challenges. Okay, but there are few secrets left. Let's go to this bookcase. And what do we have here? We have identify scroll or a spell. I don't know what is it. But I'm playing as a wizard, a bad wizard, animal summoner wizard. But I can learn some spells also. Oh, I scribe a perfect a spell. And this is my master room and it also have a very interesting stuff hidden here. So I don't know what is it, but I will take it and this belt. Some kind of crystal of unknown origin, friends. Let's identify the belt. This belt will give plus 2% to aim and plus 2% to dodge. Wow, I really need to dodge. Can I equip it? Yes, I can. Perfect. Now I it's must. time to go back to my servant's job and serve some drinks. Oh, lords and masters. Okay, I will be a good servant and I will do everything correct, as master told me to do. Room service, or should Hello, I say throne room Master, service? Twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Woolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Don't Lord worry, Jory I'm a ale. good servant. Lady Dearlin and Lord need. Go. <laughs> okay, let's take drinks. Let's take them all. Oh, lady. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. I'll help you. I remember you want me. Just what I wanted for a change. 
Oh. <laughs> and oh, you, uh, sir? The staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. It's a lord, so he must love wine. <laughs> okay, perfect. And what Hello. about you, kind lord? You're here, finally. It's my boss, Lord Aspen, and Lord Aspen want me. Ah, good. Yes, of course, good. What a waste of time. Hello. And what yes, about yes. you, lady? Of course, ladies always drink wine. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin of for course, drink. Of course, few coins actually. No coins at all. Oh, these nobles, they are so... <sighs> okay, Hello, last well. one. Lord Joran. And Lord Joran love ale. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. Yeah, no, yeah. of course you don't. I don't know it. <laughs> and what's happening? Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? And gentle servants. Okay, friends, let's listen to full story. Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and Deron Gould is a so rebel. ...has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmeral. How dare they? I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. So his son joined the rebels? Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. <laughs> Where Whatever nice. the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, Delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints. The King's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? <laughs> oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war, a much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Deron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Deron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They mm. have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In it's a conflict of any significant length, Having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North. 
rather than outright defeat her. You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? Mine? You want my opinion, Lord? You're okay. asking the errand boy? What does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Laranfall. Well, speak up. Hmm. Of course, I will choose a peaceful solution must always be best, especially if the only point of connection is money. Very noble of you. I agree that the value of I'm a noble must sword. be held cheap against the value of doing the honorable thing. What's going on? Is it a dragon? My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. What's they going make no on? The secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of their own ghoul. It's rebels. They are attacking the state. That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. I just cleaned this place. Rebels, you will pay for this. Aldana. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Story turning very interesting side. Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. Oh, right? they would, because they are wild rebels. Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf, if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Me? He wants me to come with him? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Well, Let's follow our lord. This way. You and you lot with me. Okay, let's go, guys. But what is it, my lord? That sound. The main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of their own gold. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, prepare whatever spells you know. Surely your magical tutoring must be good for I'm something. a bad fighter. I God can summon no only rats. And in melee, I'm really nothing. Nothing at all. Where are you going? And we have a battle. Okay. So, combat in this game is with active powers. I prefer a turn-based combat, but that's all we have so far. Maybe in future developers will do a turn-based combat. But so far, come on, Redis, why are you running? Fight this mage. Oh, mage has something bad on my character. He can barely move, Scorpion! Protect your master! Me, I mean! <laughs> What's going on? It's very bad to be a wizard. Very bad. Especially summoner kind of wizard. Kill that mage! <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, at last! I'm near death, look at my character, almost no health point left. And that was really bloody, and by the way, maybe I can get some interesting stuff from this lady. Lady wizard, very bad lady wizard. And another battle? I will not survive it, definitely. Red is. I will not go into the battle. What else do I have? I have some kind of spell. Oh no, oh no, it's my lord. Don't cast on him. You can cast a spell on your friendly characters. On your lord, for example. Okay, I have to interfere in battle with my powerful stuff. 
Wow, I do one hit point of damage. I save the day. Battle is won exclusively by me. Guard this door with your life. Wizard worm, come with me. Okay, Lord, but why? You're very weird. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. At once, my lord. His sword? This is his sword. Okay, let's fetch it. What are you doing? Oh, rebels are already in the building. And there are too many of them. Rebels killing my fellow servants. Oh, rebels, you will pay for this. Found you at last, father. Didn't father. To try and hide from your face. Rebel leader. Is his son? Oh. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and man at arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So, you, see you were not nothing. even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this, well... Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Wizard Worm. No! No! Now I have Don't to find the Don't worry, my sword. child. Your hardships are over for today. What's going on? Oh. Get up, lazy boy. Where I am? It's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed? Where I am? It looks like a cabin in the forest. What? Where I am? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. How did they get here? I brought you here. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Very interesting turn of the story. I'm just excited. This you is definitely a witch. Look at his hat and she have a black cat. Only witches have a black cat. Oh my god. The cat name is Rux. <laughs> Very interesting. So, I must rest for a while. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream wraiths. No, oh, maybe I'm a lazy little bit. Oh, good morning. That's it, a good morning for getting work done. What ah, work? How about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Hold on, I have some questions for you before I give you any help. Very well, ask your questions. Okay. How did I get here, really? Well, if you must know, you were about to die, so I whisked you away to my little hideaway in the forest. Okay. Did you know Lord Espen? Yes, yes. After a matter of speaking, I knew him. A good man, but a bad father. Bad father. He was killed by his own son. Oh my god, who are you? Just an old witch who likes her privacy. <laughs> I know she was a witch. Okay. 
Busy hands will dry your tears, boy. Wise woman, wise witch. Now I'll be making a stew this evening. You'll be helping. I need you to go and find something for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Okay, and I gain some list. West inventory. Gather the following. Hmm. Mm, mushroom. A slab of fox meat. Okay. Feeling well? Oh, good, good. You know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Okay, and what do you got? On. And she give me gloves. Gardening gloves. Whoa. Ruin and Dryan. Type magical. Okay. I already have some gloves. I stole them from my lord, but now he's dead, so it doesn't matter anymore. Good. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. All fingers at the same time. I'm not so sure. Maybe not all the fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Um, <laughs> I better be silent. Good, good. Now off with you. When you got everything on the list, come back and I'll get making that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Oh. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy should you need to protect yourself. I don't need your stuff, witch. I already have my own. And one I get from that wizard lady's body. Oh my god. Okay, now I got the stuff, I got everything. Feel free to take a rest if you need. No, I don't want if to I rest. Must. But my health point is not fully restored. And I exit that hut and look at this world. It's so beautiful, butterflies are flying, weird plants and trees everywhere. You can't be serious. And maybe something... Hidden in this basket. Potion of cure. Oh, very good potion. I take it all. So, what do I need to find again? Side quest. Source them right. Okay, this quest is completed and this is only a part of the quest. I have to check my notes. So, roots, mushroom and fox meat. Okay, what a waste let's go. Let's go hunting, my friends. Hmm. Some spiders and worms eat in the tree. And spider seems to be very peaceful. Oh. Who are you? You're not the ingredient I'm looking for, fox. Foxy, I always want to try this spell on you. Ooh, very good, very deadly spell. Fool and fox meat, and I need fox meat. Updated. Yes, I found one ingredient. And I found some mushrooms, <laughs> yes, mushrooms, but last time I tried to get them, these spiders kill me, three little spiders with so little health point kill me, a great mage, human, warrior, ah, that's disgusting, plain summoner is not that easy, friends. Summoners are so weak, oh my god. A waste of time. Even the forest spider can kill them. Hmm. Spiders are dead and now mushrooms. Yes, it was another ingredient. Perfect. And by the way, this area is not that big. And what the star means? Some bush? Spider colony? Maybe I have to go to that bush? 
Oh, it's protected by spiders. Maybe they will not attack me this time. I got the last ingredients, but spiders become hostile. Okay, let's give them a fight. Yes, spiders, fight my mouses. Stop that, I'm frail. It was a furious battle and of course I win, but spiders almost kill me. They take a half of my health point. Friends, being a wizard is not very good, it's very dangerous. Actually, let's equip everything we found in a state. Um, we don't have much. And where is my experience point? Mm, spellbook, no character, yes. So I have only 315 experience. It's too little, really too little. But I got all ingredients I need. And maybe I should search this bush. Oh, butterfly. Okay, old witch, I got everything. Let's make a stew. And now I'm back with all ingredients. Rooks, go tell your mistress that I collect everything you she asks. Be serious. Rooks, don't listen to me. Rooks, I'm a summoner, a master of animals. Well. He don't care. Ah, the hero returns, and with a fresh harvest. It's all there, yes, perfect. How can you tell what is in my pack and what isn't? Oh, let's say just feeling like everything it's where it should be. Hmm. I spend many long days sniffing around. So my nose knows. Now that I've gotten what you need, I have more questions about what's going on here. No, no, let's get the pot boiling first, and then... What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before? I was a servant, but I never cooked. I was only cleaning the floor, the shoes of my lord, and doing all the dirty stuff. Cooking was too hard for me. I have to me. wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, uh, well. They teach me to summon Scorpion. Take this candle and get to trying. Then crush the dried herbs into powder. Okay, let's do it. I know how to do it. By the way, we will have a crafting, a brewing and drying. But this time we need drying, so let's take a candle. And now ingredients. Ah, it was this mushroom and this plant. And maybe it was not that mushroom. So we will dry this red mushroom also. Let's start drying. And that is time. It's not moving for some reason. Okay, I need to rest. Let's rest. And now... Let's go to drying once again and start crushing. Oh, this time... Time was moving and let's collect. I done everything, old witch. Oh, good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. Of course about we should. talking. Talk about talking? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think I mean, child? Okay. You are trying to teach me something, learning and research, and this is a special skill of my character, of mages. Okay, it was a good lesson, I understand it. Why did you save me from the assault on the Espen estate, and that is important question. I keep an eye on Lord Espen. 
He was a force of balance. His death means that the balance has failed. And it's happened that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. Yes, she's talking about me. I have a great potential. I can summon a rat. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time and I saw a chance to aid you. Who are you really? I'm afraid that is one question I can't answer for you. Hmm, why are you keeping me here? You weren't ready for Alander's attack on his father's manor. And I don't believe you were ready for the chaos of the world. Hmm, and I pulled you from. What I must accomplish? Pardon me, I misspoke. There are two questions I can't answer you. So, she don't want to tell me. The stew is almost ready? Ah, yes, yes, almost ready, indeed. Now, there's something you should know. When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. Gone? What do you mean? The attack on the Espin estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. A revolution? Much will be lost to strife and war. Wars are all the same, only there destruction. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. And what is that? A great and terrible curse oh. has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. I know. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Yes, the curse of greed. Greed, what do you a mean? Terrible covetousness that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices can trip either. It is most dangerous. And you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Ah, getting a good look at you now. You're a bit of magician, aren't you? Oh, I'm a very powerful wizard. I managed to defeat seven forest spiders and one foxy. <laughs> okay. You have much to learn. Let's get you started. Here, take this. It's a scroll containing a spell for you to learn. Give it a read. Hmm, snow. I am not a snow wizard and you can play as a snow wizard in this game actually. Let's scribe it. It's some kind of tutorial. Oh, and I see a trap. Very good. Okay, I will run every spell I will find. There is a trap in the room. Ready to give you a little scare if you aren't careful. Okay, I know how to disarm a trap. When I was creating my character, I chose a special skill. And actually it is this skill. It will... Yes, it will help me to disarm only magical traps, by the way. Very good, of course it's very good. As a wizard, you'll be running across many peculiar things on your journey. Ok, ok, let's skip it. Aha, we done it, this stew is cooked and cooled. Here, boy. This will warm you after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. <laughs> okay. And in same beginnings is still not done. We need to rest. 
Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. What? I still don't really understand what we have doing here. So, do you mean I'm ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as one can be. Is that yes, all? Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. What? Father? Yes, Lord Espen. He was my father, actually? No way. No, I won't explain to you how it all happened. Lord was my father and he keep me like a servant? Oh, but why didn't he tell me? Oh, I cannot say, no, no, he had his reasons, uh, also? But there is a reason Lord Espen paid you so much attention, despite your servitude. The other servants surely did not receive the same education or the same favors. Is this all too much? I have no idea where I am. My father was Lord Espen, and the curse of greed you mentioned before? Yes, child. But you are ready for the world now. You will succeed. Of course, if only spiders will attack me. Or perhaps you will fail. No. But I think at least you will fail well. Yes, yes. Thanks again for your sage advice. Now you must go face the world, Wizard Worm. I have enjoyed our time together. Okay, that I must be it. My child. I will. So, we have a new quest finding path, and the quest endings and beginnings completed. And by the way, no. Only this quest is completed, what a waste and of I time. gain a level, yes. okay. Let's see how it all works. So, I will rise this skill, then a class skill. I will rise Prodigy. Prodigy will allow me to talk to people about magical stuff. Maybe it was Arcane Studies, <laughs> I don't remember, but okay, Prodigy weapons. Weapons, of course, roads. I'm a mage, I will fight with the stuff. And here I am, on my own, trying to find my place in this world you and my serious. destiny, of course. And we have a new quest, finding the path. The forest is swimming in mushrooms and weird plants, cannot stretch forever. Which way should I go? Hmm, let's take a look at the map. This is the cabin we are in right now. This is another forest. My estate. Let's go north. I don't know why. But let's do it. Worms will not attack me. And <laughs> look at the tree. A tree mixed with mushroom. It's a mushroom tree. Very rare in this lens. Oh, I can go. Actually, there are nowhere to go from here. Hmm, okay, let's try another side. Time. The river looks fantastic. And the spider looks too evil. Plant. Very beautiful plant, by the way. And very beautiful river. I like the visuals of this game. It looks good. Maybe a little battle to the spider? Come back, you coward. I miss him. 35 experience point. Very nice, very good spider, but this spell uh, will be available only after I rest. Oh, worms, my friends, don't worry, I will not harm you. And now I can go to Merchant's Road. 
It's raining here on the merchant's road. And this location also not big. Let's collect this bush, I don't know why. Hmm, bugs are living in the bushes. Some mushrooms and it's a worsely ing ingredients and what is that? It's all burning. S some kind of battle happened here. Oh my god, dead bodies, dead horses, terrible, just terrible. What's happened here? Are my enemies still here? Are they waiting for me? Oh, and who are you? I'm listening. The sorry sight it is. <laughs> Did you have some part oh, in this? The wars of men are none of mine. Praise the stone. I am Helgenha. Call me Helg if that's too much of a mouthful. Is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. You can see now I can use my skill named Prodigy. Anyway, this was one of the smaller battles between Isildbright and Dead and Gould. Since we are on the same road, why don't we walk it together? I was thinking the same myself. Okay, this will be my first companion. Let's tell well, him my story. It's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. <laughs> it stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. So I must get estate? Very interesting. You need to lay calm to it yourself. No one is going to walk up and hand it to you. I must get this estate. This is the road to Asilbright, you know. Capital of Asilmarilt, and also the world's capital of noble titles. Okay, so I must go to city and find someone who can help me with my heritage to get the estate. Care to join Excellent. me? Always to Asilbright. Yes, let's go, what my friend. My time. new friend. And my new friend is a dwarf warrior. Warrior is exactly what I need in this mission my because God. my wizard is very weak, really so weak that I can't even tell you. Even the forest spider can kill him. I definitely need a strong warrior in my party. Okay, let's take this also. Yeah, and must. let's head for the city. Hello. And this person is just traveling merchant. And well, this merchant well, well. selling only potions. And you can buy something from him or sell him some potions. Or even ingredients. To the city gates we go. And so our heroes arrive to the city gates, to the capital. And this will be another story and another adventure and you will see it in my next video. And if you like this video and have a good time with me, hit a like button friends and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in my next adventure in next video.